Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use layering and negative space to create a really beautiful artwork. So I've already done one coat um, in just black resin onto my board just because I need to do two coats to create this look. So I thought I'd already get a jump start and do it and it's pretty simple. I just poured resin across that's tinted with black pigment. The black pigment that I used is just the Barnes epoxy paste. Um, so now my next step is, is just to give it a really light sand back. If I tried to pour resin on top of this, because it's already such a sleek and glossy surface, I'm going to have issues with the resin sticking. And what you'll get is like little divots in certain areas. So all I'm doing is just roughing up my surface. This is a 360 um, grit, so it's not a rough this is just going to help my resin to stick. Now I'm just going to spray it with some alcohol spray just to get my dust off and any residue that's left so I'm not going to have any issues with how my resin sets. I've already mixed up my resin and this is the Barnes Epoxy Glass Resin and I'm going to be using three colours today or technically four if you count clear as a colour. So I've got black, my white which is another Barnes one and then I've got a translucent tint which is turquoise from Barnes as well. So I'm just going to pour those out. Now you don't have to pour these out evenly. It just depends on how much you want of each colour. You also need to leave a little bit left for your clear. So I'm going to leave about that much left of my clear. And then just mix these. I don't have even amounts of the resin because I know I'm going to need more black because black is obviously going to be the feature and I'm going to do a bit of negative space in this artwork. So I've got mostly black and then more um, white and then probably equal amounts of my tint and my clear. So work out what kind of pattern you're going to do. So I think I'm going to do like something like that and then one going the opposite way. So I'm going to put my black down first. And then with my paddle pop stick, I'm just going to smooth it on out, getting it to cover my area. Now I'm going to add my clear um, and my translucent down and then on top my white and then I might do a bit more translucent and clear. And I'm just going to be following the pattern that I've already created. And you're not really going to see this translucent too much when it's just on the black, but when I add the white on, you're really going to see it coming up through because it's actually going to tint the white. So it's going to be quite a cool effect. Okay, so now I've got my translucent and my clear down, it's time to add my white. And now just in this space, I'm going to add my black because I'm going to have that negative space to my artwork. If you're enjoying this tutorial so far, please go and check out my resin art playlist as I have got tons of helpful hints and tricks for resin art. And please do subscribe as it really does help my channel grow. 
then I might add a little bit more tint through here. And then I'm going to add a clear again and I'm going to add it on top of the white. So to create this effect that I'm going to be doing, it's all to do with layering. And so by layering different densities of different pigments on top of my artwork, therefore I'm going to get the really cool patterns created. So even though I'm only using three colors and it's going to be quite like, um, I guess you would say like basic, it's going to look really cool because I'm going to get really cool cell creation and really cool patterns because I am using that technique of layering and it's not just three colors. So now I'm going to use my heat torch. So heat torch is handy anyway because we need to pop the little resin bubbles, but this is also going to blow around and create my cool patterns. Now I'm going to come back in and sort of just start to finesse it, um, do little bits here and there, but you can see some really cool cells coming up through. I'm also going to use my hands in this, and basically this is just a time where you're going to be a little bit um, just fiddling around with it and perfecting it. Um, there's no real like right or wrong way to doing this. It's kind of just how the artwork forms, because every time you do something with resin, you're never going to get the same results, so that's when you just kind of... I guess let your artists come out and just have fun with it and work with the layering and you can see like a little bit of blue tint coming up through um, yeah and I'm going to tilt my board and just work with my resin My biggest tips if you want to create an artwork similar to this is using different densities in your pigments. So whatever colour pigments you decide to choose, just understand them and realise that you've got to use some that are really light and some that are more full body to get the cells and lacing and to get those really cool patterns coming through. And my second tip would be with your heat gun, um, it's really helpful to get that how it pushes the pigments out and spreads them and that also helps creating those really beautiful patterns. If you don't have a heat gun, a hairdryer works as well. Just make Make sure it's a cheap one because you don't want to ruin a nice one with resin. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up because it tells YouTube to show this to more people. And if you're new to my channel and you love resin art or any sort of art and DIY projects, please do subscribe as I'm always uploading every week.